This video is about leaf rubbings. I use a thin paper for doing leaf rubbings, like a regular copy paper or a sketch pad paper. You want to use the back side of the leaf for the best results. So I collected a few leaves from outside in my yard. This one is a pineapple guava leaf, and it is upside down. So I have a, a sheet of paper underneath and on top of the leaf to try to keep my sketchbook a little cleaner. Pressing down the leaf and holding it in place by squeezing the paper or actually keeping a finger on top of the leaf using a 6B pencil and the side edge. Moving lightly back and forth across the surface, trying to capture the edge of the leaf and the venation pattern. The main vein can be a little bit of a high ridge, so it can be difficult to, to capture all the venation. And doing too much, you can lose all the detail. So just have to be light-handed and maybe try it again if the first isn't so successful. Laying them side by side, you can see that you capture the shape and a good indication of the venation pattern. Trying another leaf, this is a scarlet trump trumpet leaf. And see, you pick up somewhat finer detail in this softer, thinner leaf of the scarlet trumpet vine. Look at all the venation pattern popping up there. The main vein is pretty high ridge, so it is difficult to capture the details along the side of that main vein. With some leaves, doing a rubbing will damage them so much that they will not be useful for drawing from. So if you know you'd like to draw the leaf as well as do a rubbing, you should take more than one sample from the plant. Remembering to label your work is really important. This is a mulberry leaf, and it has a pretty strong stem. I'm going to take a pair of scissors and trim that off before trying to do the rubbing. 